lockdown. Um, I just wanted to share with you something that I've been thinking of doing while I've got this spare time on my hands. Um, so welcome to my bathroom. So basically you can see I've done a freehand painting here on the wall and for ages and ages I've been thinking I want to add something to it. So what I was thinking was a dragonfly, so something coming down maybe to land on the, on the flower. Now I could have done this freehand but I wanted to show you quite an easy technique so that you guys can have a go at it at home. Okay, so basically all I've done is I've ordered some free wallpaper samples. These are absolutely free. You can order them from places like John Lewis and I'll just send them second class through the post. And um, what I'm going to do, here's my lovely dragonfly, I'm just going to cut him out and I'm going to draw around him. Okay, so here's my dragonfly that I've cut out, nice and simple. I'm just going to put him on the wall, play around with where I want him and then just draw around the edge. Yeah, so I quite like him off the piece a little bit coming in, so I think I'm happy with that. Okay, and there you go. And now it's just ready for painting. Okay, so basically now I've drawn around uh, the dragonfly, I'm ready to paint him. All I'm going to use is some white emulsion that hopefully you might have at home. If you haven't, I've heard that the hardware store is meant to be opening up soon um, and you could just get a tester pot for like 99 pence or something if you haven't got any. Um, please do ask permission from whoever owns the property before you paint on the walls, but otherwise, yeah, you're good to go. I'm just going to work on that and come back to you in a minute, okay? Okay, so now as you can see, I've done the white, um, it's touch dry, I've done two coats, taking about five, ten minutes, um, so now I'm just going to move on and paint like the black body. Um, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use some black acrylic paint. If you haven't got any, you can get it cheaply and you can get it from food stores normally, so places like Asda, Lidl, um, Home Bargains, maybe about a pound or something. Obviously don't go out just for the paint, but if you're out getting food, you could grab some, okay? Okay, so I've just mixed it with a little bit of water. Like I say, you can use acrylic paint or emulsion, and I'm just going to paint in his body. He's got quite a fat little body in this bit. I'm just going to do that. And then it thins off into his tail. I'm not sure if you can see the rounded edges, but I'll show you a close after. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do his antennae. He's got four. I'm going to use um, a permanent black pen. So basically any permanent black pen can do this, or you could use a fine brush if you feel happy. And then I'm going to go around his wings as well and outline those. Okay. So you can see, I've gone around the outline, um, I've done it in black. I've actually done the wings with a fine brush. Um, I found that was a bit better. So the next part, which is completely optional, and you might not be doing the dragonfly, you might be doing something else, but I just really wanted to make it pop against this lovely peacock green colour. Um, so if you can see on this, he's got like a gold body, and he's got a lot of detail on the wings. So what I've actually bought, and I've never done this before, I've bought some gold leaf. Now the gold leaf was about £2.50 with free postage, I think, and that was off eBay, and that's come during lockdown. So again, it's not too expensive, but you do need a little bit of glue to put it on with. Um, his wings have got a lot of detail on, you can see that. So what I'm going to try and do is draw over them and then possibly rub over the back to transfer that onto the wings, and then I can copy over that. I'll come back to that in a minute. Basically, I've got my dragonfly, I've outlined him, 
Um, and what I want to do, I want to do some veins now. Now I had hoped to transfer that by drawing pencil and then rubbing on the back, but that hasn't worked very well. So we're gonna have to do that freehand. So back to my pens and pencils, okay? Now you don't actually have to do this bit. If you are doing a dragonfly, you might be doing something else, obviously. Um, so you might just leave them white and that looks fine, but I personally want a little bit of detail. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a close-up. Um, what I've actually found is that black biro works better than art pen, so you might want to try that. Welcome back. Okay, dragonfly is done, done all the veins. You might not be able to see it though, so I'll do a close-up in a minute. Um, and what I'm gonna do now, I want to do the gold that's on the dragonfly's body. So, just this bit here. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some glue and I'm just going to copy that pattern that's going on there. So I'm just going to use a fine brush and just dip it into the glue. Get it nice and wet. And then just copy that pattern. I'm going to carefully take one of my pieces of gold leaf and just place it over the glue. Hopefully, that will just stick. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry off a little bit before I brush it off. If you want to, when you brush it off, you can collect the gold and reuse it for things. Okay. Right, so I've got quite a thick soft brush here. I'm going to try this now. And as you can see, it's just covering on the bit. Actually gone over the lines that was obviously a mistake but it's fine so I'm just going to paint over it just to tidy it up okay so there you go so there's my dragonfly he's pretty much finished and uh, I've done gold leaf I've done the veins and I've touched it around with the green and um, just letting him completely dry it pivoted up because it does go everywhere so be careful um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I uh, hope it's inspired you to have a go at doing some things of your own. Uh, maybe not necessarily dragonfly, but just to look online, see what wallpapers there are that you can trace, draw around, copy, that kind of thing. Just use whatever materials you've got um, and just enjoy being at home for the time being. Stay safe. Oh.